Well, a school district is opening its doors to students who do not live inside the district. The goal is to bring in money. KFDM's Leslie Rangel explains the plan in Hampshire Finette is drawing some opposition. Hampshire Finette, home of the Longhorns, a district with about 1,800 students. Now a new transfer policy is causing division. I think that they need to leave things well enough alone. Uh, it's been this way for years, and why change something now? The change will allow up to 122 students to transfer into the district. After the state legislator, I think it was back in 05, 06, froze our state funding, the only way we receive more money is by more kids. Superintendent Pamela Morris says new students must fill out an application with some basic requirements. We are not going to want to accept a student who's 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 been a big problem in a district where they've you know where they've been. Some parents aren't convinced. I just think that having the big city, even though Beaumont's not a big city to us, it is uh, the influence of those kids out there. I'm not sure that that will work here. The people that come into this school district won't be paying taxes and we're paying taxes, paying for them to go to school here. The superintendent says each incoming student will bring in at least $5,000 in state funding. Total that to 122 slots and the district could see more than $600,000 a year. That's the only way we're going to be able to generate dollars to to keep doing the things that we're doing. Morris says it will bring in money for after school programs and allow the district to give raises to teachers. There's no sense in denying it. A big, a big, a big part of this is, is funding. And, uh, you know, we do not have an infrastructure in our community where there's going to be a lot of growth. Growth, the district says, is needed, while critics wonder at what impact, if any, to their community. In Jefferson County, Leslie Rangel, KFDM 6 News. The superintendent says parents of non-resident students must pay $1,000 a year for tuition. Parents can also apply for a tuition exemption if their child qualifies for a free or reduced price lunch.